Welcome everyone to the Stock Option King YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to go over how I made $74,000 trading Netflix and Nvidia swings. This is just one batch of our swings and we usually take multiple swings throughout the week. And if you're not subscribed to our swings channel, then you should go into our swing summary channel and check out some of the swings that we have taken in the past. Now let's get back into the video on how we were able to buy these cheap $100 options and turn them into $450 options on Netflix and how we were able to turn $100 options into $350 on Nvidia. We haven't done a video like this in a minute but we had some crazy swing plays this week. We've had even crazier swing plays last week, but I wasn't able to make a video. So this is okay. We'll make it for this week. All right. So look about 74 K trading uh, Netflix and the video and a disclaimer, this does not happen all the time. Right. Um, but this was a great example of a swing week where we were able to take about $35,000 and turn it into $75,000. And how were we able to do this? I'm going to walk you guys through step by step and show you how you can also take advantage of these plays. And remember, right, if hedge funds can hire analysts, why can't you? Why can't you take advantage of all the knowledge that we've gained over the years and be able to give you guys proper alerts and be able to uh, make money out of it? Simple. And one thing that I'm learning about trading is that never put all of your eggs in one basket. And I'm starting to learn this now as uh, my trading journey evolves. You need to be able to take some long term positions. You need to be able to take some swing positions. You need to be able to take some day trading positions, because if let's say, for instance, your day trades aren't going as well, well, these swings can sport your money making and your cash cow, which is trading. Now let's go to the charts tab and let me show you guys how we were able to predict these up moves on Netflix and the video. And we were able to call out these amazing swings. And look, yesterday at 3.51 PM, we told you we were buying some Netflix 675 calls for $1. And this is the whole idea for swings that you buy these cheap options that might go into the money the next day and get you guys big returns. It's the simple game of trading risk management with a little bit of touch of levels and you will make a lot of money if you're able to follow the rule. So look, yesterday we were able to push through this 650 level and this 657 level. And then above that, we really didn't have a level on Netflix until all the way up to 671. And look, there was also a sport level that once if we cross, we knew we would get a pretty nice significant push into the resistance levels on Netflix. So look what happened yesterday, right? Yesterday, we ran up on Netflix, breaking through this 657 level, and we ran near that 664 level and we were able to reject. One thing I want you to understand is levels can be a little bit offset sometimes because there's millions and billions of dollars floating through these trades. And remember, sometimes they're not able to control at the exact key level. And that's okay because there is billions of dollars that are being floated through the market. And sometimes even algorithms aren't able to control the price action of the market perfectly to a T. And this all happens with preparations. Take a look at this. I also did a Fibonacci level from the bottom of this move all the way up to the top. And this gave us this, which acted as a very good sport level. And this is exactly why you need to be prepared and you need to be able to see all of this stuff in real time. And this all happens with a lot of practice and patience. So look, once we rejected this level and we came to the WeWeb and we sported above that 557 level, we had an idea that Netflix up. And then all you do is you manage your play as it plays out. So take a look at this. Once we were able to gap up, we opened above that 23.6% level and we started sporting and this is why I recommend that once you get into a trade, always do your due diligence, right? Create these fibs, create these levels, just so you know what the stock is doing. So you know a little bit, little bit of the picture that the stock is trying to create for you. So take a look at this. 
20.6% level held very perfectly on Netflix and we ran straight into that 671 level. And then we ran into our intraday FIB level. And look, we rejected that FIB three times before heading down. And look, also, if you're not taking profit when you're up over 200%, then you're not a trader, you're a gambler. So this is why you need to be able to take profit. Remember, if you were to put in $100,000, that $100,000 would have turned into $300,000. And if you're not able to do this with $1,000 and turning it into $3,000, then you won't be able to do this with $100,000 and turning it into $300,000. So this is why we need to build these habits. And this is why you need to be in the swings, be able to take those trades and manage your own risk and manage your own account. Now, and now let's go over this nvidia swing and look this was the better swing out of two because this paid a little bit more and this was the easier one i would say because we had two things one it had a hammer that was built with a very nice sport from yesterday so look we opened up around 105 and we sold all the way down to 104 and then we sported and we popped back up well, so now look, we opened up, we sold into sport, and then we popped all the way back up near the highs. We weren't able to break the highs, which is okay because this still shows us that sellers try to push it down, but we were able to recover 80% of the move from yesterday. And we were able to sport that daily trend line and push up quite nicely. Now let's create some levels just to get an idea of what NVIDIA could have done today if we you know, didn't see the move already happening, right? And if we were a little bit in the past, take a look at this. We just created these three levels very quickly and look what NVIDIA did, right? NVIDIA sported this 115 level, pushed up into resistance of this 118 level. And then we were able to close above that 118 level. This shows us that we were able to this shows us that sellers were able to take control for a little bit, but then buyers came right back in and they showed the sellers that they are not ready to move down. And take a look at this huge squeeze move that has been happening for the past two weeks. And once we were able to support the trend line, that was the cherry on top and we closed right above that 118 level and this is why we took the swing. We knew that Nvidia had power to be able to gap up and I'll be honest, yesterday when we in pre-market were staying below that level, I was a little afraid, but this is what risk management is. If we would have lost, we would have lost 50% or maybe even 100%. But look, when we won, we won over 300%. And this is the name of the game with the swings. If you lose, you lose small. When you win, you win big. And and we held this NVIDIA longer because of this gap. And remember, all of the gaps to the downside don't have to. And what I mean by that is that if a stock moves up very strongly and it leaves a gap below, that gap usually doesn't have to fill. Well, because stocks are supposed to move up and continue moving up and not look back. But if a stock leaves a gap to the upside, meaning if it leaves a gap higher, and it gaps down, usually that gap will fill 99.99999 or even 100% of the time because stocks always trend up. And look, because we were trending up very, very, and look, because we had a crazy reversal in the video, we knew we would fill that gap today because of the strong momentum. And these are the things that you learn over time and with practice. So these were our swings from this week. These worked out very, very well. And look, if you guys want to follow some of these plays, all you have to do is go into our chat room, try these plays out for, you know, two weeks or a month trial. And if you make money, you stay. If you don't, then you leave and you walk away with nothing to lose. So if you guys want to follow some of these same plays, go to our chat room. Link is below. Let's work together. Let's make some money together and let's grow this community. If you guys learned something from this video, comment down below what you learned and what you're going to do to be able to improve as a trader so that we can grow as a community. Let me know and we can make a video on it the next time. So if you guys want these videos to continue, also comment down below and let's go. Let's make some money. Good luck.